Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me at Pebble Beach during the Monterey Car Week in California in the USA to take a look at a new car making its global debut, the Aston Martin Valkyrie Spider. They've taken the roof off the Valkyrie Hypercar. There will only be 85 units of these in total that they will ever make. And today we can explore it in detail, go through the engineering, the new doors, and in particular also take a look at the new specific bespoke roof mechanism mechanism that's been created and how exactly that works as well. Plus, here at the Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance, the lineup of cars is truly fantastic. We have the Formula One car, we have the Valhalla that launched recently as well, and more to go and discover. So let's take a look at this, run through the Valkyrie Spider, and have a good look as well at how exactly the roof gets installed over the top of this fantastic machine, one that I experienced in the coupe form recently. Today though, it's making its debut, Valkyrie Spider. Each time that I've seen the Aston Martin Valkyrie, it has taken my breath away. You realize quite how much is going on with it in terms of the aerodynamics that are mostly beneath the upper surfaces. You don't see them until you start looking at it in detail, but also quite how small it is while still offering 1,160 horsepower. Now, I recently jumped on board a Valkyrie Coupe for a run with Darren Turner to experience quite how emotional the car is, how involving it is, and how potent it is. And I can only begin to imagine what this will Will now be like for the 85 customers without the roof. Behind you, just tucked back behind the bulkhead, you still have the mid-mounted 6.5 litre V12 from Cosworth, combined with the electric motor system sending all the power to the rear wheels in a very, very light car with that engine revving up to 11,000 100 rpm now to remove the roof has been no simple task it's required some heavy engineering to various components most notably the doors the valkyrie coupe has gullwing doors that pivot from the center opening upwards to make it easier to enter and exit the vehicle of course with no structural components there these have had to be re-engineered now pivoting as dihedral doors from the front and i'll show you that in just a moment and of course also it receives a bespoke roof mechanism, which I will show in a moment as well. We'll demonstrate exactly how you reinstall this, but effectively with the central beam and the side panels that fold up. And the reason for that is that when it's in place, you need a little bit more space to be able to climb through. The window on its own would not be enough considering quite how tight the cabin of this car actually is. Now to explore it a little bit more, if you're not familiar with the Valkyrie, just look under here you effectively have this tiny teardrop cabin, very cozy for the occupants, but effectively a car that offers aero to produce performance in line with LMP1. You've got this floating front splitter with active aero flaps with all sorts of different layers and levels. You've got very smooth bodywork over the top. And in fact, this traditional Aston Martin nose line as well, the badge, of course, in the center. Then when you start to come around the sides of the car, look at how open all of this is, how much you can see of the various suspension and arms holding Holding the wheels in place and even here those blades that wrap around it is the most extraordinary thing to study up close and in detail you've got the two layers here of the rear spoiler active as well back there and then this incredible diffuser with the venturi tunnels which go right underneath the car again you can see all the way through it helping for the maximum downforce possible to ultimately achieve some incredible performance times and demonstrate quite what the car is capable of over your head here, you have the snorkel for cooling through towards the engine, which again will introduce even more emotion, the sound that you're going to be hearing through that as it pulls in to produce that amount of power. Obviously, all everything back here being tucked into the smallest possible space. Now, let's talk for a moment a little bit more about the doors and show you exactly how these open. They effectively pivot towards the front, open up like that, and then as per the Valkyrie Coupe, you climb on into the vehicle, which I will do in a moment. Take a seat inside here, inside the carbon fiber monocoque. You've got the plaque, the Aston Martin, hand-built in England with the Valkyrie outline silhouette that you have there. Inside, are lots of screens. These are, of course, for the cameras, the rear view, and also the door mirrors. Gone are the traditional mirrors in place of them. You have the camera system to give you that view of what's in the blind spot. But this is quite special. Look at how it is with the doors open. You might have noticed that these are not retractable windows. They're fixed in place. So if you do need to lean out of the car, the window or the door would in fact need to be opened. But of course, if the roof was still in place, if you had it installed on the car, that would not be enough 
to be able to climb in and out, hence why it has that folding system, as we'll take a look at in just a moment. In fact, let me come round and open up the other door so that we can see it with the wings up, get a view for what that's like very quickly. Open this carefully, does it, on this car. And again, inside here, you're sat with your heels above your hips. In fact, right down there inside the tub, you can opt to have the car with these seat shells or without you can have the pads straight on the tub but it's exactly the same in terms of offering the six point harnesses and in terms of all of the technology and the different controls that you have inside there as well so let's have a demonstration then of how to do the roof it's time for the demonstration then of how to install the removable roof on the aston martin valkyrie it slides in at the front effectively getting that position clicks on down at the back side of it and then the roof panels can be folded down as well. They then click into place, close the doors, and it is that simple to install that roof. You're then left with very much the glass house, of course, the side windows and the roof windows as well. And this is what I was mentioning earlier about having those folding panels, because when you open up the door, you're then left with a fairly small aperture to actually enter the Valkyrie, which is where you can then pull the latch just inside here. You can hear it releasing this then lifts up and it makes it significantly easier as per the coupe to then effectively stand on the seat and be able to slide on in to the car just like that actually surprisingly easy and well engineered as the final result to manage to make that roof process for the valkyrie spider reversing the process then to remove the roof there's a latch on the other side just to release those catches at the back of it it lifts up just like that completely removed and back to being the spider. I'm going to take a seat then inside the car. There's a bit of a process to this. The first thing is just to unplug the harnesses to move the seat belts out of the way. But like the coupe, effectively, you need to stand on the seat. And to make it a little bit easier, you can remove the steering wheel. There's the latch on the back of that, like on a race car. You can just pull that, release it, and I'll pop it for the time being over just there in the passenger seat. Now to do this involves climbing over the carbon monocoque even without the roof on this car and then effectively trying to slide down and into this very very narrow space <laughs> something like that now when you're in this feels absolutely incredible the steering wheel latches back on and it can actually put itself correctly whichever way you go there we go that's clicked into place it's very very snug in here look at how little space there is down in the footwell but that's what makes this experience and you can close the door down as well just give this a gentle close oh my goodness this is this is quite phenomenal imagine being in here on the move the snorkel right up there the sound that that will make as well being inside this car Whoa. <laughs> this is crazy this is unlike anything else. Of course, on the steering wheel, you have all of your controls, very much race car-esque, tiny squared style wheel. These grab pulls, as I was saying, which do the folding upper sections of the roof. And this very, very Formula One-esque seating position in a tiny cabin that feels surprisingly open as well. Obviously, by having no pillar across the top, there's a lot of clear view around you. It's almost like you've got a large sunroof open above your head with this small curved windshield in front. I'm, I'm just dreaming at the moment of what this would be like, knowing that in a second I've got a bit of an awkward process as well to exit from the car, pop the door up. Wow, absolutely wow in this. It's tight, it's snug, but imagine driving a roof off <laughs> in the Valkyrie Spider. <laughs> even begin to imagine what it's like i've climbed back out off camera slightly easier it has to be said let's close this though for a moment and go and take a quick look at some of the other cars here on the aston martin stand at the pebble beach concourse d'elegance including the formula one car from this season 2021 formula one year aston martin racing in the famous green colors and it's when you look at the aero on these kind of cars here at the splitter around towards the barge boards and look at all of this you realize how far these cars take it for the maximum downforce and performance on the Formula One circuit. But then we also come 
to Valhalla. Now this was previewed at a private event during the Goodwood Festival of Speed not all that long ago and this is a very very cool supercar featuring the 4 litre bi-turbo V8 with a hybrid system 950 horsepower in total 750 from the combustion engine in a car that seems very exciting but also looks fantastic as well I have to give Aston Martin a lot of praise for this and for also having two cars that are effectively flagship mid-engine supercars in their lineup a very exciting time with things to come and these are going to be going into production in 2023 so more of that to come in the future for now though it's all about the Valkyrie as we walk back over at the special opportunity to have a preview to share the Valkyrie spider with you look at how open that aero work is. So there are going to be 85 of these in total. They'll go into production following the 150 original coupes. After those will come the 40 Valkyrie AMR Pro track cars and then we have the 85 of these following. Of course it will slightly vary depending on the different markets for all of the different iterations of the Valkyrie. Those three different models that we have at this current time. All of these of course provided with the removable roof and just a car that to walk around and to be in the presence of is something very special. Honestly, full carbon body, weighing effectively one horse, well, giving one horsepower per kilo, I should say, a car that to drive is mesmerizing as I experienced myself on board with Darren Turner. And in fact, let me play a very quick clip of my run in the Valkyrie. <laughs> special and now imagine that with no roof in the Valkyrie Spider it's only going to be even more so revving over 11,000 rpm from the 6.5 litre V12. For now though that's all thank you very much for joining my first look here at Pebble Beach with the Aston Martin Valkyrie Spider. Bring on hopping on board one of these in the future. For now though that's all thank you very much as always guys and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!